Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Let back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's video, we're bringing you guys another edition of NBA Player Builds. And we are going to be recreating Warriors on Jordan Poole in this episode. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Uh, Jordan Poole is 6'4", 194 pounds, wears number three, shoots right-handed, plays PG slash shooting guard for the Golden State Warriors. Now, I took a look at his attributes and badges. Now, uh, right now, he's only an 81 overall, so I expect with the way he's played at the end of the season and even going into the playoffs, his first game, he went absolutely nuts. I expect Poole to get you know uh update i mean we we if we're lucky we'll get an update in the middle of the playoffs but most likely 2k being 2k they probably won't update him again until the next game 2k 23 but he's definitely getting an update because if you look at his attributes his attributes leave a lot to be desired so um looking at his attributes he has a 92 layup a 95 close shot a 60 driving dunk a 87 mid-range and 83 89 free throw, 86 ball handle, 79 pass accuracy, a 50 defensive rebound, 65 perimeter defense, 47 block, 47 steal, 74 lateral quickness, and then for his physical attributes, he has a 75 speed, 75 acceleration, a 73 vertical, and then of course a 61 strength. And then when we look at his badges, he has no finishing badges or defensive badges, but you know he has a couple of shooting badges he has silver corner specialist bronze green machine and bronze hot zone hunter and then for playmaking he has silver glue hands that's it so obviously we know that his badges and stuff like that his attributes all of this needs to be updated so we're going to make our own version of jordan pool who will obviously be better than what 2k has here um as an 81 overall so for the first uh pie chart you're going to be choosing the more finishing than shooting pie chart um just so we can match that 92 layup or whatever like that that he has because he does like to drive to the basket but he also likes to shoot he's also a really good shooting stuff like that um for the pie chart now you can choose the speed pie chart or whatever like that or you can choose the vertical or speed and vertical if you want but if you want to choose uh or if you want to have physical attributes similar to what he has which is like 75 speed 75 acceleration 73 vertical then you would go with the uh balance pie chart which is all the way at the bottom and then of course uh we're gonna max out uh his uh close shot and layup we're gonna put his driving dunk at a 60 leave that like that then we're gonna max out his shooting And then we'll max out his pass accuracy and ball handle. And then we'll give him a 44 post control for 15 playmaking. And then we're going to max out his perimeter, max out his lateral, max out his steal, and then max out his defensive rebounding. Now, as you can see, this is way better than the build that he has in 2K. He actually has nine finishing. He actually has five defensive. He has way more shooting and then way more playmaking as well, too. So... Uh, then the body shape doesn't really matter at all. Uh, six four height, one ninety four pounds, and then the wingspan. You can pretty much do whatever you want, but I'm gonna go minimum wingspan just because I want to have better uh, shooting attributes. And then on top of that, you have um, when you hit like ninety eight, ninety nine overall on this build, you will have the eighty six ball handle that he does have. You know, unlocking uh, the ability to you know get those better dribble moves because you are going to be 6'4 so no actually at 98 you'll be able to unlock the better dribble moves and stuff like that because you are 6'4 and then of course um the takeover doesn't really matter but i go i went with spot of takeover because he is a shooter and then obviously as you can see you have built an offensive threat with shades of jordan pool obviously so we're just gonna hop in this real quick and uh test the build just so we can set him up with some badges We'll make him a 99 or whatever. And then, um, of course, the shooting badges he has is Silver Corner Specialist and Bronze Green Machine with Bronze Hot Zone Hunter. But obviously, we aren't going to just leave him with four badges. So we'll give him, you know, a bunch of badges we think he should have. Um, 
I'll give him Chef as well. Um, we'll give him Limitless Spot Up. Wait, does he have? Nah, he has Gold uh, badges. So yeah, we could do something like this, or or actually, you know what? Definitely give him Gold High Zone Hunter, and then honestly, you could probably take down Bronze uh, Silver Corner Specialist down. You know what I'm saying? Maybe take Green Machine away and give him, like, a gold catch and shoot or whatever like that. Or if you don't like this, you could always switch this around. Maybe take Limitless off. Give him Green Machine and, like, um, Circus 3s or something like that. But you, you can't go wrong with any of these setups. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then for the playmaking, he obviously just has Silver Glue Hands. But we're going to give him Gold. Uh, we'll give him Handles for Days, Quick First Step. We'll give him Silver Unpluckable. Um, I'll give him bronze hyperdrive just so he has a little bit of dribbling. Uh, we'll give him a, a bullet passer, you know what I'm saying, just so he can, you know what I mean. And then we'll, I'll probably go with his last badge. I'll probably either go quick chain or stop and go. Uh, either or, it doesn't really matter. You could really go with either or. Probably go with quick chain just so he's better at creating off the dribble or whatever like that. And then obviously your defensive badges again doesn't mm, don't really matter because you only have five of these. But um, if you just want to have good defense, then I would go with silver. I mean gold uh, ankle braces and then silver clamps. You do have a high steel, so if you want, you can go silver, silver, and then maybe a bronze interceptor, so you can get your hand on the ball, get some steals or whatever like that. But if not, you could always just go gold and then silver clamps like that. And then obviously for the finishing badges, um, you could just go uh, slithery, and then probably acrobat with like fearless finisher or some, some something like that you know what i'm saying maybe a, a giant slayer or a posterizer or something like that just to help you with um finishing in the paint or whatever like that but this this is probably what i would go with hall of fame slithery hall of fame acrobat bronze fearless finisher and there you have it uh jordan pool uh for nba 2k22 current gym man uh it's been your boy, Make America Live. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K22 content, badge breakdown videos, and, of course, NBA player builds. I'm out.